Welcome to the lecture on normal distribution. During the past few lectures, several times we have mentioned the word normal distribution and skewed distribution. So, let's discuss about normal distribution. Normal distribution is a general term for bell-shaped symmetrical distribution. So, look at here. So, this is distribution of marks of few students. In this distribution, the mean is 55 marks and we mark standard deviation in the x-axis. So, here the standard deviation is 10. So, we mark 65 here, 45 here. This is a normal distribution. But what is the difference between normal distribution and standard normal distribution? There is a specialized process called standardization which I will discuss in another lecture and in standardization there are several methods to standardize and in this standardization method we equal mean which is 55 to 0 and standard deviation to 1. So we have a normal distribution here the students mark this can be in agriculture, yield of crop, maybe something like biochemical parameter in medicine like serum creatinine, whole blood cell count, red blood cell count, platelet count. Normal distribution has its own mean and standard deviation. But once we standardize, we get the distribution called standard normal distribution where the mean is zero Standard deviation is 1, so we know that variance is 1. Keep in mind, standard normal distribution is special type distribution where the mean equals 0, standard deviation equals 1. It has its own shape, bell-shaped curve, which is symmetrical and at the center, mean, median, mod, everything is here. Despite the thing that we measure, whether it is yield, whether it is WBC count, whether it is marks, whether it is income, whatever the thing, once we standardize, we get the mean zero standard deviation one. In a normal distribution, mean zero, mean plus or minus, this is one SD, two SD, and three standard deviations, minus one SD, minus two SD, and minus three SD. In between, minus one SD and plus one SD, approximately 68.2% of the observations are here. If there are thousand students, if their marks are distributed normally, 68.2% that means 682 students will be in between the range of mean plus or minus 1 SD limit. Then next the green color dots here, here, here everything. So mean plus or minus 2 SD limit. Within the limit of mean plus or minus 2 SD we have about 95.4%. You might wonder, do we need this decimal? Answer is, yes, you need this decimal. In statistics, you will see we are interested only in 95% but not 95.4. So, if 95.4 is mean plus or minus 2 SD, plus or minus 2 SD, Exactly what is 95%? Actually that is plus or minus 1.96 standard deviation. So 95% will be slightly less than 2SD. This is very important in next few lectures to understand many of the concepts in relation to inferential statistics. For the moment, keep in mind 2SD is 95.4, 1.96 SD, 1.96 here is 95%. Mean plus or minus 3SD, that is 99.7%.
So then the next question is, this is plus or minus 3SD. So what is 99%? 99% actually plus or minus 2.59 standard deviation. I hope you are clear about standard normal distribution. Standard normal distribution is special shape of normal distributions where mean is zero, variance and standard deviation both are one. We will explain this using an example. Here we have thousand students. Their mean is 60 marks, standard deviation is 10 marks. So assume that this is normally distributed. If it is normally distributed, mean is 60, standard deviation is 10, so we have 70 here, we have 50 here, something like this. Once we standardized, against the normal distribution, we have mean equals 0, 1, 1. Same distribution is standardized into standard normal distribution. So, we have 1000 students. How many students are there in the range of mean plus or minus 1 SD. We know that 68.2% of the students approximately that will be 1000 into 68.2 equals 682 students will be in the range of mean plus or minus 1 SD that is exactly in the range of Mean is 60, minus 1 is D, 52, plus 1 is D, that is 60 plus 10, 70. So in between the range of 50 and 70, we have 682 students. So mean plus or minus 2 is D, that is the range of 40 to 80. I hope you understand this, will be 95.4%, which is approximately... 1000 into 95.4 divided by 100 equals 954 students will be in the range of 40 to 80. Now we know that mean plus or minus 1 SD 68.2% mean plus or minus 2 SD that is 95.4% and mean plus or minus 3 SD that is 99.7%. What about mean plus or minus 4 SD? It is again 99 point something something something. Mean plus or minus 5 SD 99 point something something something. This will never go to 100 but it will go to till infinity. So another important property I need to highlight is in the normal distribution, this end, theoretically, this end will go to plus infinity while this end goes to minus infinity. But practically, these values will not go to plus infinity or minus infinity. Many people know about the shape of normal distribution and properties of normal distribution. Do we have other types of distributions? This is a normal distribution and infinite type of normal distribution we can have something like this, something like this, something like this. We can draw infinite number of normal distributions. Now this distribution is standard normal distribution. But we can have several types of normal distributions and there are special type of distribution where it has bit larger tail with, that means the local doses we call that T distribution. T distribution is specially important type of distribution which has larger tails than standard normal distribution. We will be discussing this t distribution when we are discussing inferential statistics. So we have something called normal distribution, t distribution, and we have exponential distribution. The data will be something like this, and we can have distributions like this. 
which we call double double exponential distribution and we can have several types of skewed distributions like this we can there are several types of this type of distributions like gamma distribution Weber distribution log normal distribution these distributions are really important when we are studying advanced and intermediate statistics from the beginning of this lecture series i discussed the differences between continuous variable and discrete variable i highlighted that in a discrete variable we have fixed number of possibilities while in continuous variable anything between largest value and smallest value is possible so here we have continuous variable we can draw a continuous line for continuous distributions while for discrete we can't draw this continuous line because in between two lines we don't have any values number of trees in a garden number of leaves in a tree number of days of hospital admission so we can't have half values so a discrete distribution we don't have a continuous line during this lecture i have highlighted basic things about normal distribution and an introduction to other types of distribution for the next lecture we can proceed to sampling lecture series